I'm gonna teach you how to get a man using your natural feminine energy. So come on in here and click like and click share, baby. Now let me tell you this right now, okay? What I'm about to teach you is easy and it's simple and it always works, baby. I am proof of it, okay, honey? I will tell you this, I ain't never had a problem getting a man's attention or getting him to chase me, pursue me, or anything like that, baby, because I use this four-step process. It always, 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 always works. But I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? Don't use this on the wrong man. I'm telling you this right now, because if you use this on some man that you just playing with, then what's gonna happen with that is that's going to create a scenario where you're going to have a bugaboo. Somebody's going to be chasing you. He's going to be sprung on you, okay, baby? And y'all going to be writing to me saying, MJ, 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 what's going on? What's going on, baby? Something's tainted about your recipe. I'm like, no, no, no. My recipe is good. It just works that good, okay? So click like and click share, baby. Tag your single friends in here and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to turn your notifications, all right? So remember this acronym, KING. K-I-N-G. If you can remember this, girl, I will make you into a man-attracting superstar, okay, baby? So here's what K stands for. King. Treat him like a king. Here's what you have to understand about masculine energy. And so many women get this wrong. I don't understand what y'all are missing, okay? Masculine energy wants one thing first and foremost, okay? Masculine energy wants to feel like a king. Masculine energy wants to be validated. Masculine energy wants to be acknowledged. Masculine energy wants to feel like you view him as special. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to treat him like he's a king or treat him special. He ain't acting that way. Obviously, you only treat a man at the level that his behavior deserves, okay? But if this man is somebody that you want to attract and you feel like he exhibits the character and the behavior to reflect that he's someone that you should have in your life, baby, treat him like a king, baby. You're the one trying to get a man, honey. You need to make him feel like you view him as special. Let me tell you how addictive this is, okay? When you treat a man like a king, when you really make him feel good about himself, you affirm him, you're, you're giving him compliments and stuff like that. You know, laugh at his jokes, even if they ain't that funny, still laugh at him a little bit. You know, when you make him feel special, baby, he'll become so addicted to you because literally what will happen within his mind is that he's going to associate you with feeling good, you're gonna become his drug, baby. And like with any drug, he's gonna want more and more and more of it, baby. You're gonna be his pusher, honey. And that's what you wanna be. You want him to associate you with feeling good because remember this, a man remembers how you make him feel more than he remembers how he feels looking at you, okay? He remembers how you make his heart feel, okay? So when I talk about making him feel like a king, what I'm talking about is don't emasculate him when he makes a mistake. If he's made a mistake, just talk to him about it. You know, don't make him feel like less than a person. Um, and when I say making him feel like a king, what I'm saying is when he does something great, praise him, make him feel good, okay? You know, really make him feel special like you see him for what he does. If he has something special within his life, a hobby, for example, that he's really into, make him feel like a king by supporting him. Even if you don't want to go to every basketball game or every whatever it is that he does, even just ask about it, baby, what's going on with that? What's going on with, with your league? What's going on with that car that you out there, you know, that you out there fixing up? Whatever it may be, make him feel like a king by making him him feel validated, seen, and heard, baby. This shit works so well, okay? Now let's go to I. I means to invite his pursuit of you, okay? Now here's the thing. Some of y'all are real, real bad girls, okay? Y'all are, are some bad bitches. You hear what I'm saying, okay? Y'all are out here Y'all bossing it up. Y'all done went out there and got that degree, got that job, built that business. You are doing what you got to do. When you want something, you go after it. That skill set, that ability, that is a gift within certain settings, but it works against you when it comes to trying to attract your king. I'm going to tell you that right now, okay? He wants to pursue you. Any masculine energy man wants to feel like he's getting a trophy, like he's getting something that he had to go after, that he had to put in work for. If you come too easily to him, then he's not going to value you. And with that said, he's probably either going to just use you to meet his smaller, more primal needs, or he's not going to deal with you at all. I'm just being real with you, okay? So what you want to do is you want to use your natural feminine energy to invite his pursuit of you. Now, this stuff works so well. Let me give you an example. It starts with the way you dress, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you this right now, baby, okay? He is going to be attracted to you by what he sees before he even is willing to hear what comes out of your mouth, okay? You can be the most, uh, most intelligent person on earth, but if you don't do things to show him your attractiveness, he's not going to respond to you. And I'm not saying that you gotta be some skinny mini. I'm not saying that you gotta have all these physical attributes that magazines and social media websites say that you have to have in order to be attractive. What I'm simply saying is to present your best self in the best form possible, okay? So wear things that accentuate your natural shape 
shape, all right? If you say, well, I got skinny legs, but I got I got nice shoulders, then put your shoulders out there. If you say, you know, my Cleveland's, you know, my bust line is beautiful, then make sure those girls are out there showing, okay? You ain't gotta have them hanging out, but you know, you know what to do, girl. Some of y'all can wear a sundress in such a way, honey, that you will make a man leave his wife, okay? Put that sundress on, okay, baby, okay? Do what you gotta do. Get your pedicures, okay? Make sure that skin is cute, all right? You know, don't be afraid to put a, a light bead of makeup on if that's your thing. Make sure that hair's together to the best of your ability. You say, but baby, I don't know much about doing hair. Then get yourself a good wig, girl. Do something, okay? You have to communicate your femininity through the way that you look because remember, masculine energy men are very primal. They go through sight before they go through feeling. So if you want them to have feelings for you, they first have to like looking at you. It's that simple. Another way that you can invite his attraction to you is by making sure that you do little things that let him know that not only can he pursue you, but he can catch you. Here's the thing. Some of y'all have learned to play hard to get a little bit too well, okay? These men try to pursue you and in the name of trying to play hard to get because maybe your mama or somebody else taught you that it's let him chase you, let him chase you. You done got it wrong where you make it so hard for these men to get you that they eventually give up and you're like, oh, he just don't, he just don't want to put in the work. No, baby, he don't want to put in that much work, okay? He got a life, he has other options as well. So here's what I do. I make sure that I communicate through my energy that I could be caught by him. Let me give you just a small example, just to taste, honey. Let's say that we're at the grocery store, okay? So we're at the grocery store and I walk by a man, okay? And I walk by him, I see him. Now, sometimes if I see a man, I'm gonna come back around and act like I need to get something off that aisle, okay? Y'all gonna see me standing looking at the pins. I don't wear no the pins, but that was the aisle he was on, okay? So anyway, I come back around, and as I'm walking by him, you're him, okay? So as I'm walking by him with my cart, one of the things I do is I look at him like that out the corner of my eye, and I smile. Eye contact and a good smile, baby, it's gonna pull him in. I walk by him, and I smile, and I turn away. But when I turn away, I lean my neck over like this. What am I doing when I do that? What I'm doing is I'm physically communicating to him that I'm open to him. I'm physically communicating my femininity. I'm physically communicating that I am somewhat submitting to him because he likes when you submit to him. And then what I do is after I do that, I walk by him and then I stop. And I'm gonna make sure I stop. I'm not gonna keep on moving because I want to communicate, hey, I want you to approach me. So I'm gonna stop right there and I'm looking for the pins at this point in time. Can you imagine? I'm looking for the pins right now. Just looking, I don't know. And then he's standing there. Now, if he doesn't take the bait to come over to me at that moment in time, I'm gonna look back at him again and smile again but this time I may give a wink so I'm gonna look back and go just like that you see what I did there girls I use my good winking skills to let him know baby I'm interested I'm here baby what's up what's up okay so I give him a good wink and I turn back around and keep on looking, 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 looking. If he looking at you, get off your phone, okay? That, um, if you on your phone, you know he not gonna come over. So if you on the phone with your best friend, you're like, best friend, I'll call you back, bye. All right, just put the phone down. All right, so then he still don't get the hint. Now, here's the thing. Some men don't get the hint. It's not that they don't want you. It's that they are literally afraid of rejection. Masculine energy men are more afraid of rejection than you would think, okay? Because here's the thing. In a lot of cases, people have the expectation that because a man is masculine, that he is going to do all the work, he's gonna do all the pursuing and so on. And they discount the fact that no, just because he's masculine and appears very manly, that doesn't mean that he doesn't have insecurities. So you have to make sure that you communicate to him, it's okay, pursue me. So if you still don't get the hint, honey, what you do is like this, you got your hand on your cart, okay? Girls are up, all right? You turn back at him again and you say, and he says, hmm? You say, how are you? A little bit louder. But he still needs to be able to come in. How are you? And he's like, huh? <laughs> Just like this. And he comes over. And you say, I said, how are you? And look him right in the eyes as you're saying it. I said, how are you? And he's like, oh, I'm good. My name is MJ. What's your name? Oh, my name is Craig. Craig, it is very nice to meet you. I noticed you when I was walking by and <laughs> I hope I don't seem too forward, but I'm not really looking for the pins. I just wanted to hopefully catch your attention. When I tell you, that tail gonna get to wagging on him, girls. He ain't gonna know what to do with himself, okay? Cause you blowing that ego up. Let me tell you this, not a whole lot of feminine energy women or feminine energy men are willing to be that bold to be able to say, I'm looking at you and I want your attention, baby. So what's up? You see what happens right there? And that's gonna ignite his manhood. Then he'll be like, ooh, honey. Cause now his ego is just like going right there. And then what I do is, cause now I've done just a little bit of pursuit cause I've invited him in. So I then turn the tables towards him and I say, okay, I remember you gotta make him feel like a king. So I turned towards him by saying, you know, um, you know, when I was walking by, you know, what caught my attention before I even looked at you was that scent that you're wearing. What are you wearing? 
He was like, oh, that's just um Old Spice. Oh, well, that's, that's, mm, you wear it well. I don't know, it must be your natural um, body chemistry. But um, yeah, so um, I have to go, but um, did you want my number so that you can give me a call? You see what I'm doing? I'm hunting. Pursue me, pursue me, pursue me. And he takes that number and now I put the ball in his court. I'm gonna, even if we exchange numbers, I'm gonna let him call me. I'm gonna let him take the lead from there because now he's got definitive evidence that I want him to pursue me. And I did that through my femininity. Femininity does not mean submissiveness. Femininity just means using the power of, of intuition and influence to get what you want out of him. It's still very powerful. Remember, if masculine energy is the head, you're the neck that turns the head, okay? So what you're doing is you're usually, you're using your femininity to invite him to pursue you. Let's go to the end, baby, okay? Now that he's pursuing you, now that he's on your schedule and getting your time, baby, okay? You have to remember this one thing. Never, ever, ever compromise your boundaries for any man, all right? When I tell you this, this is a really important part of your femininity because when you are trying to get that masculine energy man to value you, you have to let him know that you have standards and that you are someone who's certainly flexible and you're willing to get to know him and emerge him into your life, but your deal breakers, that your boundaries, you're not going to move those. And if he wants to be in your life, then he needs to adjust to be able to operate within those, assuming that they're reasonable, of course, okay? So here's the thing. If he's trying to hit you up all out hours of the night, you know, and it's before y'all have gotten to that level of intimacy to make that kind of thing okay, then what you have to be able to do with him is you have to be able to very, very clearly communicate to him, hey babe, I saw that you called me last night at 1230. Um, I was asleep at that time, even if you wasn't just say you were asleep. I was asleep at that time, but you know, um, I normally go to bed around 10, so you know, in the future, just make sure you call me before nine. That's normally when I start to wind down. Oh, I just wanted to see what was up, see if you wanted to come by. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to the day where I can just stop by at 1230 in the morning, but we're not there yet, young man. Give us some time, all right, and we'll get there. You see what I did? I let him know my boundary while still giving him a little bit of a carrot to chase, okay? I'm letting him know, baby, come on, keep on pursuing me. It's right here, it's right here, baby. You're going to get it and you're going to like it, okay? But what I'm not doing is I'm not sitting up here saying, oh, let me compromise for him. What I'm not doing is making him feel small or emasculating him with how I communicate my boundaries. I'm simply letting him know these are my boundaries and I need you to operate within them if you want to be with me, okay, sweetheart? Love ya. You see where you go with that, okay? When you communicate your boundaries in a delicate yet clear way, it turns them on so much more. Because they say, oh! She got boundaries. Oh my God, I want this, I want this, I want this. It's like, it's like literally like a, it's like you 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 turn it into almost like, I don't know, like a like a battle. They like, I gotta win this thing, I gotta win this thing. And winning this thing is getting you, girl, okay? You want him to realize that he gotta put in some work for you, okay? So you keep on letting him know, I'm winnable, baby. I'm very winnable, but here are the rules of the road and I need you to operate within these rules of the road. Here's the problem. Some of y'all end up with these men three, four, five years. Y'all with them for all these years, 20 years even. And y'all say, why don't he respect? me? Why don't he respect my boundaries? You never required him to respect your boundaries from day one. Understand this, how you deal with him from day one sets the rule books for what will happen later. And that's not to say that you can't change course later in case y'all start off on the wrong foot. But what I am saying is if you're at the onset of meeting someone and you're really trying to attract him using your feminine energy, don't be afraid to set boundaries. Any man who's scared away by your boundaries is a man who never deserves you in the first place. Remember that, okay? Now let's go to G. G stands for go outside of your comfort zone. Listen to me when I tell you this, okay, baby? The kind of king that you want more than likely is not going to be at your local bar or watering hole. He's more than likely not going to be at the grocery store, nor is he going to be at your job. Because if he, if he was at any of those places, you would have met him already, girl. That should be obvious. So you're going to have to be willing to go beyond your comfort zone. As I mentioned before, femininity does not mean that you are submissive, nor does it mean that you are powerless. It simply means that you are walking within your softness, within your nurturing, within all of those things that men find so attractive. But here's the thing. you got to position Position yourself so the, the kind of man that you want can see you and pursue you. So I'm gonna give you a tip. This I got this from one of my girlfriends. She wants to meet a rich man, okay? And I don't blame her. Who doesn't want a rich man? But I'm gonna say for me personally, okay, I'm not looking for a rich man as like my major criteria. As long as he got hustle inside of him, we can get him to be rich, okay? A man with good hustle can make a whole lot of money. So that's why rich is not a criteria for me, okay? But nonetheless, she wanted a rich man and I ain't mad at her, okay? So for her, she wants this rich man and she said, I'm not gonna meet a rich man hanging out with my girlfriends at the same places all the time. So what she would do along with one of her gay best friends, hey best friend, 
time, she would go out to conferences where men who were likely to make a lot of money congregated. And she would also go to, to social events where she thought she would meet them. So what she did was she joined a golf club. And whenever there was like a charity golf tournament, she was out there, okay, looking good in her golf attire and stuff like that. She didn't know look about playing golf, honey, but she knew how to be beautiful, okay? She made sure her Cleveland's was showing, make sure she wore a cute, cute little outfit and she was out there. I remember she used to go to like um, tech conferences, like, you know, you know, the National Association of blah, 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 tech executives, baby. She put herself in their environment because what she realized was that just like her, masculine energy men are often within the cycle and the routine of their life. And if you want to meet them, you're probably going to have to put yourself in their environment because they're not putting themselves in your environment because most people just don't have the foresight to go outside their comfort zone. So if you're willing to go the extra mile and put yourself outside of your comfort zone to put yourself in different environments, that gives you a leg up in meeting the kind of person that everyone else is dreaming of meeting. So she put herself in these environments. One of these conferences, she met her Prince Charming girls. Let me tell you this, okay? He runs a tech company, okay? Worth over $20 million, okay? They got married at his beautiful home, all right? They are doing fabulous. They got cute little, cute little babies running around everywhere. Baby, it was so fabulous, okay? She loves him to death and he loves her to death. And, and when he asked her one time, he said, he said, why was you at that conference? I know you ain't in tech. Was you looking for a man? And she says, absolutely I was. And I want to make sure I put myself in an environment where I could meet that kind of man and also learn more about the things that interest him. Because when she was in those environments, she would go to the little workshops and so on. So nonetheless, baby, you have to be willing to go outside of your comfort zone if you want to meet that man that you know will be your king. Now, I know these tips were absolute fire. So what I want you to do is go ahead and click like and click share and hit that subscribe button to make sure that you're following me. And if you're watching me on YouTube, hit that bell to turn your notifications. If there are any other topics that you want me to cover as it relates to feminine energy, go ahead and comment below with them. I'm always open to your topic ideas because I'm here to help you live your best life one video at a time. Mwah! Love you, best friends.